Good morning, everyone, and welcome to vlog. Oh, I said Vlogmas. It was only a matter of time. And welcome to Movemas Day 4. So, we are, we are, um, Stephen is off to work. He's actually traveling a little bit for work, so he has like a little bit of driving to do today. And I am just getting the house tidy. I didn't clean as much as I wanted to yesterday. Obviously, when you don't have furniture, there's also not a whole lot of cleaning to do. Um, but I have my narwhal. It has done like basically the main living areas. And right now it's in like where the Peloton room is, the powder room, laundry room, and mud room. It's at work. You can see it right here. I'm telling you, friends, out of every household item I have bought in the last three years, this is by far the best. Like, you can see that there is like real stuff on this floor. I'll show you when it's done. It vacuums and it mops. Amazon is the best price. I'll link it below for you. But when we got two dogs is when Steven bought this for me just to try to save me some time. And it has been a lifesaver, like a true, true lifesaver. So it's gonna mop and clean my floors <clears throat> and do all that for me. Last night I did laundry, but had to fold it all up today. I also put the old man up on the couch so he can sleep and hang out. Miss Mabel's upstairs. So laundry done, floors done, and then I wiped down surfaces. But have just realized I left my breakfast stuff all out. I had scrambled eggs this morning. On a weekday to have time to just like make yourself a real breakfast was such a gift. I said to Steven something about like, oh, well, I'm off today. And he goes, you're off every day now. Uh, which I guess I can't say like, oh, I have a day off because this is just the day. I also edited day three and uploaded it. So that is all done and taken care of. I have had a good morning and it's only, wait, it cannot be, is it 10 o'clock? Oh my God, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Now I don't feel like I've done as much. <laughs> I've cleaned, I've done laundry, I've made breakfast. I feel like I had to do more than that before 10. I've drank two things of water. I did sleep in though because I watched the Djokovic match at Indian Wells last night uh, where he was upset by a qualifier. It's like the biggest upset probably in tennis history. Um, of recent years. So this guy, Nardi, ended up beating him in three sets and I stayed up and watched it. So it was like 11 o'clock when I went to bed. So I slept till like 7.30 this morning. Slept entirely through the night. Yeah, so I guess getting up a little bit later, I still got a decent amount done in two and a half hours. So yeah, I have that all squared away. I'm gonna do um, a light run today. I actually messed up my training. I was supposed to take a rest day. So I was thinking of putting it in today, but I'm actually going to do my rest day tomorrow because I'm going to the spa tomorrow and that I'll use as my rest day. But yeah, that's what we're doing so far. I need to figure out what the rest of the day will look like. My merch came today and I'm obsessed with it. This one is the coffee one and it says fueled by coffee and kindness and I did it on like a Heather Kelly green and then this sand one I did the letting go and moving on and then lastly on the white tea I did if you can be anything be at peace. I love them so much. I can't wait to throw them in the washer and wear them. This is by far the most popular merch launch I've done. So if you want them, all the information is linked down below and you can customize them however you want. So you can change the colors, um, long sleeve, short sleeve, sweatshirts, hoodies, all of those things. Um, I can't, I'm so happy with them. <laughs> All right, I am going to throw those in the washer. I have a last load of whites to fold and then I'm gonna get my workout in. Friends, I have switched up my planner to nobody's surprise. So the Hobonichi, I just didn't wanna look back and see all my work stuff in January, February. Um, 
So I was just like, you know what? I want a fresh planner for this stage in life. I ended up going with the Dapper Desk. I will link it for you. Um, I just love this color and it matched like the vibe of the new house, which was a huge factor in deciding this. This is the 2024 one, obviously. So I have a couple months, January, February that are empty, but I'm okay with that. But it just has like your monthly spread, your holidays, and then what I love is just like every month is together. So the monthly page for January was here. Then you just have a daily spread that has a to-do list, a schedule, and then blank space. So I can still use Mabel is between my Hi love bugs. Hi love buggies. Hi. Hi. I see you. Um she's never too far away. I still can like take my pictures um, and print them on my printer for scrapbooking. So I really like that. And then all of these are laminated and tabbed so beautifully. So I am picking this up in March. Um, I haven't filled out my monthly spread. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow together. Um, and I didn't do the first couple days of March because I was still, <laughs> uh, because I was still, working so I've kind of picked up from here I have never had a schedule look this lean in my life um, so I'm going to get these caught up but I wanted to show you that and then what I ended up doing here is I was still so happy with this setup and this is the cover I put on my Hobo Nietzsche. I just bought an A5 notebook that still fit within my Hobo Nietzsche cover. And I am going to be using this as just like note taking, content planning, um, like meeting notes, idea notes, things like that. I love note taking. It's one of the things I love the most. I'll show you some of my notebooks at some point. I take it very seriously. So that is kind of going to be my setup now. We have a planner from Dapper Desk and then I have the notebook Louis Vuitton desk agenda. So I'm really, really happy with that setup and then also very happy and I'll link these for all of you. These Neutral Palette Midliners by Zebra. Best pens. They don't bleed through anything. They have a chisel point and a fine point. So good. And all neutral tones, which I just find so aesthetically pleasing. But that is our setup planner for this new journey in life. Right, Mabel? Is it right, girly girl? Is it right? <laughs> Oh, sleepy today. Mabel, do you want dinner? Is it dinner time? I swear, as he gets older, they like want to eat dinner earlier and earlier. It's three o'clock and they are wanting dinner. All the cleaning is done though. There was no furniture, so cleaning wasn't too bad, but like all the services are cleaned out. And then I'm going to take all of this leftover art um, and donate it tomorrow. And these two round mirrors that no one wanted. I'm shocked. Like this is all that didn't sell. Like this is it. And I am stunned that no one picked up these mirrors because mirrors are expensive. Are you being camera shy? Are you being camera shy? Are you being camera shy? Who's never camera shy? Who's never shy? We ain't shy girl. Oh, oh, brother, sister, say hi. All right, let's have dinner for you two. We'll eat a, you two can eat a little early. And then we will make dinner for daddy. Her ears make so much noise when she shakes. All right, I'm gonna go feed them. All right, friends, I believe in normalizing simple meals. So I bought a rotisserie yesterday and while it was still warm, shredded it all up. To that, I'm going to add cream of chicken soup. This is the less sodium healthy heart version. The reason I do the less sodium is because I'm going to add a packet of taco seasoning to this. A little bit of cheddar cheese. And that is literally going to just be mixed together. Normally I would do this in a bowl. I just don't feel like messing up multiple 
containers. So, what's great about mixing this with a fork is it'll shred up the chicken a little bit more. I have a nine by 12 baking sheet. I'm gonna add some green enchilada sauce to the bottom of that. And then I have some whole wheat carb balance tortilla shells. And we're just gonna roll up enchiladas. So I'm gonna take my fork, I'm gonna put some of the filling in there. Roll it up and put it seam side down in the pan. And this is going to come together literally in a few minutes. Um, I was watching Emily Lee, actually the person whose planner I bought, and last night she made like salad from a bag and like frozen pizzas. And she said like, we have to normalize these simpler dinners. And I couldn't agree more. One thing I've been planning out is because we're going to be moving and you know how busy that time will be. I've actually been like going through like my repertoire of meals and thinking like those first two weeks of the move, not so much when we are in the rental, but the first two weeks of like in the house, like what are the simplest dinners I can pull together because there's just gonna be so many other things happening. And I'm kind of building that out and I will be sharing those ideas with all of you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of the green enchilada sauce to the top of these and sprinkle with cheese and cover with tin foil. I am going to throw these in the oven and bake them for about 20 minutes covered, then probably 10 to 12 minutes uncovered. I just pulled them out of the oven. Look how delicious. Going to let them sit and cool for a little bit and then we'll serve them. Easy peasy dinner, so good. All right, my eyes might look a little watery um, because I got some of my cleanser in them tonight. Um, I just got out of a bath. It is like 7.30, maybe going on eight. Um, I wanted to get a nice bath and chill out for a minute. Dinner was delicious. We had some wine and the enchiladas and then we hung out for a little bit and then I took a bath and Steven is watching Jeopardy. Then I'm going to hunker down and watch the Carol Wozniacki and Angelique Kerber match tonight. I'm so excited. I love them both but Wozniacki is my go-to. I also had to shave this evening because I have a facial tomorrow at the spa and you can't shave tomorrow. So I went ahead and freshly shaved. So that's all taken care of. And I just filled up my water. It's like the fourth one today. So it's like 200 plus ounce, 208 ounces of water, I think. But that's today. It's been easy and breezy. Beautiful cover girl, all the things. But I have a couple things that we're going to do tomorrow. Um, or discuss tomorrow. So I will see you all then. Take care of yourself, take care of others. Be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye bye, friends.